morning. It's Friday, November 6, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Teaching the Children, and our scripture is Psalm 78. O oh, my people, listen to my instructions. Open your ears to what I'm saying, for I will speak to you in a parable. I will teach you hidden lessons from our past. Stories we've heard and known, stories our ancestors handed down to us. We will not hide these truths from our children. We will tell the next generation about the glorious deeds of the Lord, about his power and his mighty wonders. For he issued his laws to Jacob. He gave his instructions to Israel. He commanded our ancestors to teach them to their children so the next generation might know them, even the children not yet born and they in turn will teach their own children. So each generation should set its hope anew on God, not forgetting His glorious miracles and obeying His commands. Children are always learning. It's how we're created. We are born with brains that are sponges for information. By the time you're my age, you may be a little overly saturated with useless stuff you've managed to sop up in seven decades. And while my little mind, a hard drive full of thoughts, memories, conflicts, joys, sorrows, and wondering, may be slowing down under the weight, children are just getting started. This psalm reminds us of the importance of pointing children in the right direction. That statement immediately draws forth the question, what if the kids won't go to school? This applies in a variety of ways. Most kids haven't seen the inside of a classroom for the past year. They're still learning. That goes for the church also, at least being in the building. They may be worshiping if their parents have taken the time and energy to create a home worship atmosphere. Many kids have had to settle for screen relationships to understand friendship building. We live in a challenging time. Wow, talk about the understatement of the year. Perhaps 2020 will be remembered as the year of pandemic learning and political leaning. Whatever history books, or learning modules if you will, record of 2020's dozen months of pandemic, it will certainly have to include the coronavirus as an epic political hot potato, straining personal patience, political tolerance, and parenting creativity to the fullest extent the envelope could withstand and beyond. And still, the children are learning. The question becomes, what are they learning? The short answer is, whatever they're being taught. Or, perhaps more appropriately, whatever they've caught. The familiar saying, one picture is worth a thousand words, comes to mind. We ordinarily think of words and lectures and tests when the subject is learning. But life skills of manners and relationship, personal integrity, faith, citizenship, and responsibility are never best taught in classroom. These are matters of observation and reinforcement by the ones most significant in the lives of children. Dorothy Law Nolte wrote a poem which later expanded into a book detailing the premise that children learn volumes more from seeing what others do rather than the direct instruction of words and lessons. The poem begins with the negative and navigates to the positive. This is the poem, Children Learn What They Live. If children live with criticism, they learn to condemn. If children live with hostility, they learn to fight. If children live with ridicule, they learn to be shy. If children live with shame, they learn to feel guilty. If children live with encouragement, they learn confidence. If children live with tolerance, they learn to be patient. If children live with praise, they learn to appreciate. If children live with acceptance, they learn to love. If children live with approval, they learn to like themselves. If children live with honesty, they learn truthfulness. If children live with security, they learn to have faith in themselves and others. If children live with friendliness, They learn the world is a nice place in which to live. 
Whatever the children of this generation have learned about themselves, the world, God, and the human family during this year will directly and accurately reflect how we adults have acted during this year. For you today, is it begging a debate to ask, what have you thrown in 2020 that others have caught? And the companion question, will 2021 be different? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.